Hello, Libra. My name's Lisa Lyle, and I am here with your first ever um, intuitive energy forecast for the coming year, 2020, moving into a whole new decade. And I'm very excited that I was guided today to begin offering these types of energy forecasts. So, um, welcome. And as we begin, I'm really guided to say to all of my Libra friends and family, this is a year, this is a decade for you to truly get out of that beautiful head of yours and into that even more beautiful heart. So this is really a time for you to move away from um, the, the delay if you will, that the mind has you living within. And so beautiful, the cards that have come for you and for the Libras I know and love in my life, this is absolutely gorgeous. So the first card that you got is the Goddess of Sacred Power. So I'm here to let you know that as you move through 2020, you are reminded that the power does not reside within your mind, your mental body, your sacred power and your true power resides within your heart. So as we begin this new decade, you are strongly guided to get out of the head and into your heart because this is going to really open you up to your gifts, to your personal sacred path. This is the goddess of the sacred path and she, her message is to let go of logic and trust your intuition, which is what I was saying right off the top that I was feeling for you. The goddess of sacred power with the, all this goddess energy. So you got two goddess cards and one angel card. And this is the angel of family or the angel of families. And the what the goddess energy is really speaking to me of is that you are going to be greatly supported in this upcoming year of 2020. As And it was 220 there. As well as throughout this decade of you know through the 20s and um, you are very much your connection to mother earth is going to be a guiding force in your life and it's really going to support you because i know many libras can be very much in their head and you know to their detriment in fact so you're really guided to focus on trusting your heart space tuning into your heart if you're having an overwhelming um chorus singing from your head that this is what you must do this is what you must do i want you to take a moment and a few deep breaths and sink into your heart space and hear if see if the voices are matching up or if it's your ego just trying to distract you Going forward into this new decade, it's really important that we don't allow ourselves to be distracted by outside influences. And a lot of times what goes on in the head is the tapes from, like, the tapes repeat and it's like the outside conditioning and, you know, what others will think of what you're doing, what others will think of you if you were truly true to you. The the color of this goddess is all blue. So this really speaks about you tuning in to higher truths, tuning into the truth of your higher self, as opposed to, again, the outside noise and clutter. With the angel of families here, this is really speaking that it's time to really nurture those family relationships and yet to not do so in a controlling or possessive way. You can't control what anybody else does. You can't control what anyone else chooses to do. What you can do is offer love and support as others walk their own path. And remember, we each have our own path to walk. And you are, um, this card is assuring you that you and your loved ones are at all times are surrounded by angels and um, spirit, if you will. So from the Archangel Michael deck, we've got 
um, synchrotron, which is infinite possibilities, number 39, which 3 plus 9 comes to 12. You are a channel of light. And it's, again, I feel like there's going to be, there always is, and I feel in 2020, there's going to be a lot of support that comes to you from the higher realms, whether it's your higher self, whether it's your loved ones in spirit, spirit whether it's the angels, or whether it's your galactic family. And you're really, the mind will limit you is what I'm hearing. The mind will limit you and the heart will support you in stepping into this energy of infinite possibilities because you are et uh, an eternal soul. And so as eternal souls, we are always connected to source. There's never been a moment in time when we have not been connected to source or our higher selves. And the only thing is, is that the mind, again, will have us feeling separate from the truth of who we are. The truth of who you are is a highly sensitive being of light. This card is the immortal present. So as you move through 2020, you're really encouraged to stay in the present moment. Past, present, future, all is now. This card is a number 44, which is a master number, which if we were to reduce it would be an eight, which again is the number of your eternal soul. With the four energy around, I do feel you are divinely guided at all times by an abundance of angels. And you're just really asked to pay attention always to the heart speak and less attention to what the mind, the mental body is telling you. In your heart, you will always, um, your heart will never lie to you. The mind will often um, play tricks on you, lie to you, um, and not quite have you um, living your fullest potential, have you living within the infinite possibilities. And as if confirmation of what I was saying, as if we needed it, you are a channel of light. This is your affirmation for 2020. I am golden light. This is card number seven, and it says integrity. So when you're living in your truth, when you're honoring your truth, you are aligned with integrity. When you are confused and controlled by your mental body, you are out of alignment with the truth of who and what you are. Number seven is also speaking to me that 2020 is going to be a year in which you are guided to focus on your physical health, your physical body. How do you feel? What's going on? Um, are you still within um, patterns, and I'm guided to say addictive tendencies, addictive patterns that really don't serve you any longer? Your physical body is always, you know, it's your soul's way of connecting and getting in touch with you as to what's going on. So if you're feeling tension in certain areas, if you're feeling um, blocked and cluttered, I'm almost hearing like constipation. If you're feeling congested and constipated within your physical body, perhaps a great way to start off this new decade would be with a cleanse, a detox. And again, it doesn't have to be anything formal. What I'm feeling guided is that you are just to trust your intuition. You know what foods feel right. And if you're one who, say, emotionally eats, are the foods that you're um, ingesting to fill some sort of a void, are they uplifting? Or are they just, are you repeating a pattern that just doesn't really work for you anymore? We really want to um, not carry much baggage with us into this new decade. 2020 feels really about um, our sovereignty and standing in our sovereignty, which means we are self-governed. We know what is right and true for us, and we trust and honor that at all times. And that comes to the foods we eat, the company we keep, the jobs we do, all of that. So as we go through this year, I really feel like there's going to be 
um, this continual shedding of the skin that doesn't feel right or that you don't fit comfortably within anymore. And these flames are speaking a way of burning away all that residual energy of the previous decade that just doesn't have any place in this new age, this new era of your life. So we're going to tune in and I want to see what gifts are really opening up for you. Um, the gifts that are intended to serve you as well as to serve the collective good of humanity. Oh, this is, you know, I'm going to ask for one more card here because I really do feel the first card that came out for you is retreat. And as you'll notice, this whole card is just the glory and beauty of Mother Earth. And that's what I was saying earlier. I really feel like 2020 for you is going to truly be about de deepening your connection to Mother Earth, deepening your connection to your own heart space, um, and, and strengthening your connection with your higher self and your intuition. So we've got retreat and then we got the rainbow dragon here. And this is a really powerful energy combined. So what I'm feeling is that there's going to be more of an emphasis for you to focus on self care. And self care is in the way that you talk to yourself, the way you nourish yourself, the way you fuel your body, um, the way that you give yourself permission to rest when necessary. And by doing so, you are going to really open up to this powerfully creative energy that already resides within you. And, you know, this really, this is really speaking about a massive expansion. And when I connect with the dragons, I do connect with a lot of mysticism and magic and really being in the moment, um, remembering who you are, which is this beautiful channel of light, this beautiful golden light. And the dragons are really here, you know, this is the rainbow dragon. So after the retreat, it really feels like you are going to, I want to say, be born anew and come into this new place of confidence and understanding. And I'm really feeling that that's around the time of your birthday in 2020 so you know end of September October that things are really going to open up for you and I really feel like the first part of this year for you is about um, that deeper inner journey about really getting clarity through your heart um, because it feels like some of you as we are approaching 2020 it feels like there's a, you know um chaos and confusion and that is really um, centered in your mental body it's coming from it's being fueled by your mental body and it truly does not serve your um, your I want to say birth into this new era um, this age of Aquarius that we are coming into I really love these two cards together so we've got the big bold vision here, number 15, which is a six vibration, which is about what is your spiritual purpose? What did you come here to do? What is your divine path of service? And I'm hearing go big or go home, <laughs> but you already are home. So I'm really feeling that, um, and I'm seeing this um, beetle here in the throat chakra. So I'm feeling the connection to um, ancient Egypt, and perhaps Isis, and I really feel like this is about, um, first of all, being aware and how you speak to yourself, how you um, talk to yourself on a regular basis. You don't even have to be verbally like um, vocalizing. It's what's that inner chatter? What is that self-talk? Be very aware of it, and then when you become aware of it, consciously make the shift to a more gentler language. And we have, with this card, we have faith in process, and it's a number 32. And you can see that this goddess in the card, she looks completely, to me, she feels um, 
depleted. She feels tired. She's uncertain. And she can't even hear the voice of her heart, which is always there speaking to her. These little songbirds always have me feeling, you know, the song of our soul. Our soul's call to just be present, be here and now. The red underneath here is really speaking what I already spoke about is the need for grounding your energy, getting out of your head. You'll see she's got her hands at her head and it's like I'm getting the, the feeling from this card is that, oh my gosh, like my head is hurting. I can't stop thinking. And this is why it's so important to take that time to retreat, to go to nature, to let go of logic and trust your intuition, to know that the universe is supporting you, to know that um, you're always guided. There's, you know, an abundance of angels that are encouraging you to stay in your heart and trust this process. I do feel like 2020 is going to be a year of um, rapid changes for you. And the speed that these changes take place and the speed that they're welcomed and integrated into your experience really depends on you and your willingness to let go and trust the process. Um, you know, you've got this and you've got some beautiful, beautiful gifts that not only are waiting to be opened by you, they are waiting to be opened by you so that you can then share your gifts and serve humanity in a more expansive way. The world has been waiting for you. So I trust that these messages make sense. Please know that there is no, um, you know, these messages are not bound by time and space. They are really exist beyond time and space. So anytime that you connect with these, I trust that you will feel loved and supported through the connection. If you'd like a more personal connection with me, you can visit my website and I will leave details in the um, description down below. Please do like, comment, and share the love. And if you would like to make a donation, a heart center donation, just as an exchange, the link is also in the description below. So until the next time, Libra, please do take care of yourself. Please do take care of your beautiful heart and give your mind, give your head a rest. I see you, I feel you, I love you, and I am so grateful for your presence in my life here on this page, and it is my great honor to connect with you. Until next time, take good care of yourself.